is the last test I'm doing before I do this fucking video because this shit's getting real annoying. That light should be more like that. More like that, I'm thinking. Shit. Holy shit. I got to put the fucking clothes in the dryer too. I'm tripping. But that's what I do. And we're going to put this light over here. We'll put this light more like that. And now we're going to see. Okay, God. All right, man. I'm not funny anymore because I don't try to be funny. Because I've dealt with a lot of bullshit. I got a fucking shave, man. It's 10. It's 9.35 and I ain't shaved yet. Damn. Who are you? I did a beer review, so let's do a beer review. I mean, I ain't gonna say what we got here. I'm gonna show you, bitch. But anyhow, y'all know my favorite brewery, period, is New Belgium. I came across a New Belgium that I haven't seen before. I came across a New Belgium that you haven't seen before. Why? Because it ain't made for you. You're not built for it. Honey Orange Triple. Nope. Not triple, nigga. Triple. My thing, I hear a lot of people saying triple. The pronunciation for this type of beer is a triple. Uh, but anyway... New Belgium, Belgian Reserve, Orange Triple. Belgian style ale brewed with wild African honey and fresh ground Seville, 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 what, what, what? Oh shit, did I just get inhabited by the devil? Saying Seville? Probably not, anyhow, guys. An orange peel, Seville orange peel, and this is an African infused situation amalgamation proclamation but guess what guys this was the kicker not only it's from my favorite brewery being new belgium not only it's a belgian style ale with freaking african honey and orange peel not even just regular orange peel nigga seville orange peel this bitch is 10 percent alcohol by volume not a session beer so we're gonna go ahead and get into it let's see if it's real it's real. It's real. We got we got a real one here. Not a twist. Not a twist off. Got to use your New Belgium beer Krisnacker. Look at that smoke coming off of there. Oh, look at that. Oh. So you got to give it a whifter. You got to give it a whifter, a snifter. Look at that smoke still coming out that bitch right there. It's going in there, right there, right there. We'll go ahead and get this bitch in the glass. And once again, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna say. I'm, I'm done talking about this bitch. But this is best by. July 28, 2019, definitely a fresh beer. And that's a, once again, that's what I love about New Belgium. The fact that they put not a born on date, but a best by date. Because my thing, okay, born on date, a lot of people could get tied up in, oh, this beer was made just last week. And then you think every beer that you're going to get has to be two years ago in order for be, or not two years, damn, two days ago fresh from the brewery in order to get a good taste in beer. I like this best by date for the fact that, like, Nigga, October 4th? Wasn't that like two weeks ago, nigga? I ain't drinking the shit! Nice color to this beer. Very nice color to this beer. A straight up golden. A lot of bubbles streaming up with like the salmon, man. This right here is like a, this is like a, this is like a salmon stampede going upstream. <laughs> ready to get, get on, get on my team, boy. Get on my team, son. That was gay as hell. <laughs> get on my team, nigga. You better not. Yo, I ain't even going to delete that out. That's gay as hell, though. But anyway, what we have here is a nice, perfectly golden. I'm not going to say a. I'll say medium body. Bubble streaming up with like the salmon. Very carbonated head it produced. I'm going to bring you in so you can look at the head a little bit closer. Definitely. A good tasting beer. A lot of lacing on the glass, as you can see. Left the fine lacing on the glass. Any, any way you swash the good, it's, it's laced up. It's laced up. And bubbles dissipating pretty, pretty quickly, to be honest. Looking from the top of it, now I can see to the bottom of the glass through the bubbles of the ass. The, the ass is on top, bitch. The ass is on top, bitch. The ass is on top, bitch. You... You, you can't make up these things. You can't make up these things. You can't pay a hooker. You can't you can't pay a hooker to be a fucking wrestling booker. We're gonna go ahead and put this thing to the nose. Alright. Off the bat, it's very uh I didn't say anything about caramel. 
It didn't say anything about caramel or, or for the white uh, per persuasion caramel. I don't see anything about caramel. But I get definitely like a, a sweet, not butterscotch, but, but like caramel. Oh, God. I got a little in the nose and that's fucking retarded. I wasn't even on some trying to be over the top bullshit. I ain't trying to be over the top bullshit. Nigga, I did, I, you got some coke? I did a little coke, I did a little coke today. No, no, I didn't. Like I said, roasted, maybe a, a bit of roasted malt, very light on the roasted malt. It has a caramel and a very floral, like it's very floral in the smell of it. It smells like 15 dozen roses. To be honest, it's a lot going on on the nose in this beer. Very floral very sweet and it's probably that's what i'm tripping dog it says how man nigga <laughs> uh, now i'm gonna have to google it and see man fuck that belgian style ale brew with wild african honey and fresh ground seville orange peel nigga it's right there <laughs> so boom uh you can smell it off the bat like this is a very this is a very floridian this is a very floral 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 flor, floral favored beer let's go ahead and get to it this beer i keep saying floral man i'm feeling like a fucking powder puff girl but it tastes a lot like a saison, to be honest. This shit, this tastes a lot like a saison. It's definitely. You know what? Off the bat, the first thing I'm gonna say about this beer is of any beer. 7% ABV and up. A lot of times you can taste the alcohol because it's kind of an excessive amount of alcohol for a beer. I've had other 10% alcohol beers before and off the bat you taste the alcohol. This beer right here tastes like this this, this tastes like a maybe a 6% alcohol beer straight up the alcohol is is the the alcohol taste is is hidden so well and i'm thinking because of the whatever the wild african honey and and and, and fresh ground several 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 orange peel you know what i'm saying it's just it's so it's it's a, it's a burst of flavor in this beer and it's fucked up saying it because it's a beer nigga definitely definitely a bit malty especially after the second go I couldn't imagine drinking this beer not straight out of the refrigerator and this isn't one that you want to kind of sit on and and you know let the room kind of warm it up or open it up as they say this is a beer you're gonna want ice cold out of the refrigerator out of a cooler or whatever whatever needs to be cold I could see this beer just really just really weighing in on the back of your tongue and giving you like shit breath <laughs> You know what I'm saying? After it, after it warmed up a bit, definitely a good beer, man. Such a good beer that I'm gonna have another one, man. It's ten percent. Oh, and wow, a nigga know what he's talking about somewhat. What does that say? Can you see it? Serve fifty to fifty-five degrees Fahrenheit. That is a funny observation because I did. I pulled the beer out to drink the to, to drink another one of the beers, right? Another one of these bitches. And I saw that. And I'm like. But anyhow. 10% alcohol by volume. New Belgium. Honey orange triple. This shit is good. And I didn't see that there was a little. Uh, talkativity. <laughs> on the left uh, part of the label. A deliciously sweet and citrusy. Traditional Belgian style ale. Fermented with wild honey. From the African bronze. Honey company. Oh. Look. Oh. Hugh Beaumont. Plays the beaver. But anyway, African Bronze Honey Company and Fresh Ground Seville Orange Peel sourced locally from the Old Town Spice Shop, Fort Collins, Fort Collins, Colorado. Brewed and bottled by New Belgium Brewing. Salute to you, Brew Belgium Brewing. Blue, damn! <laughs> Brew, 
it's ten percent alcohol by volume. You may not taste it, but it definitely got me tongue twisted. Definitely a good beer by New Belgium once again. I'm gonna go ahead and try out another one, and I felt like to thank you all for checking in to Team Shit Pig. I am Beer Drink Shawty. I know it's been a minute since I've done beer reviews, but I'm back on track now. Shout out once again, New Belgium Brewery, my absolute favorite brewery. What are you doing? <laughs> Who are you? That wasn't cool at all. That wasn't cool at all. What's up, man? Hanging from the base of cable. Brock Lesnar and Sable. Jesus Christ and Jehovah won't save you. Sick individual, selling out like niggas do. I will never ever sell my soul for I'm not liberal. Tentacles, I think with my dick because I'm pitiful. J. McKay ball handling skills because I'm unrippable. Typical, internet cyberspace rocketeer. Bitch, get off my timeline, go and fetch me a beer. Cheers, colorful things, niggas and wings, chicken watermelon. I ain't use any mics. One good thing though. The niggas, it's a sun, it's a sweatpants Sunday. It's a sweatpants Sunday in this bitch, son. It's a, it's a, it's a sweatpants Sunday in this bitch. Chilling, you know what I'm saying? What, Walking Dead c coming up next on Deckery? Got on my sweaties, my sweatpants. You feel me? Got on my sweatpants, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yo, oh, I'm in the gangster, I'm in the gangster. Yo, man, this beer was crazy, dumb, stupid, hot, booming. It's tough. This beer, this beer go harder than the paint, so to speak. This New Belgium Honey Orange Triple, 10% alcohol by volume beer is crazy, dumb, stupid, idiotic, retarded, dumb, motherfucking, cunty, fucking fire, big, super, motherfucking, crazy, dick, doobity, fantabulistic, butt shit, that, what?